What's up, Virgo? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today, I'm back with your first half of January 2023. So, let's take a little sneak peek into what's going to, going to happen for the first two weeks of the new year for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. Wow. Akashic Libraries. Damn, somebody changing their fate here? Okay. Something that was once written is being rewritten. Somebody's Akashic records are being rewritten. Okay. Alright. So something that was set to be in place or a part of your life or destiny can be changing now. Okay. Because somebody here wasn't inspired. God brought somebody a muse and that person wasn't inspired by that muse. I'm seeing between, it was a timeline between the summer and the winter time where somebody was supposed to be getting prepared for some type of mission, all right? So, my thing is, the Buddha prepares. Man, okay, so, again, you might still have the same mission, but it might not be with the same person, okay? Okay? Yeah, faded meeting. You guys were supposed to meet somebody here. You know what? It could absolutely be that you and this person is still going to live out something here, but it might have taken a long time. Okay? Somebody was like had to get out of legal problems. Somebody wasn't using their wisdom, will, and power of the mind. Okay, and the other person just stay focused here. So with the muse here, Virgo, take it as it resonates. You can be the muse, all right? So I'm just going to say this message how I'm kind of getting it. But you came into somebody's life for a reason. If you was the muse in their life, this person wasn't amused. <laughs> like they wasn't amused by the muse, all right? They, they wasn't amused with what it was that you was doing, what you was focused on. You could have been preparing yourself preparing some type of mastery because you knew that you had a special mission this person may not have been aware of their special mission here you guys could have met in the summertime now it don't have to be summer 2022 it could have been summer 2021 2020 2019 it doesn't matter maybe we'll even see okay when this was for some of you it could have been two years ago for others of you it could have been four all right, but this definitely is a situation where you came into a faded meeting with someone and things are having to be rewritten for this to even still happen because somebody may have gotten so far off course, but I'm a damn near say that somebody got back on because normally when somebody refused to be on some type of journey, this would come in a reverse. All right, so you guys may also be meant to have two children together be it twins or a boy a female and male child that are very close in age okay so let's see what this is all about because it's something about the akashic library that's like the somebody akashic records is having to be rewritten in some kind of way for some reason all right so let's see what's going on for virgo for the first half of january Oh, yeah, somebody didn't know. Somebody didn't follow their own inner knowing, so they kind of rejected the muse. All right, I'm going to keep saying that, but this person was meant to be some type of motivation to step on your path, okay? This winter, we currently in the winter time right now. Somebody may be getting ready to stop fighting a connection and apologize, issue some type of apology. Somebody here has been secretly looking up to the muse. It's kind of what I'm getting. So, if you're the muse in someone else's life, Virgo, some, uh, this person, they could be a Pisces or an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but they secretly have been looking up to you and they are ready to stop fighting it. It was their ego that was fighting things to begin with. This person was focused on past disappointments rather than the gift that spirit was bringing into their life. Okay, meanwhile, you guys were preparing because you guys are some type of teacher, ascended master. Or something to that extent. Okay, Virgo? So, this winter, you guys could be stepping into this energy. And this person may be so far behind in the journey. 
you know, that, yeah, it's like this person didn't have faith. They wasn't rocking with God. They could be changing their belief system. That's what I'm getting. This took a lot longer than what it was supposed to because this person was fighting the mission, fighting what was fated to be. Okay. And one of the things is it's like darker forces could have took hold of whoever this is. Because I'm getting like a little bit of devil worship or atheist energy here. Okay, yeah. So somebody that got off the mission, they definitely going through some type of harsh judge judgment and attunement here. Because somebody was trying to manifest things to go their way. And they wasn't trying to follow the way that God had a set and plan to go. Which caused a lot of delays. Okay. So if you're the muse, this person could have even been like draining the shit out of you. Trying to manifest you. Trying to manifest a connection. Or trying to manifest a sexual connection. Even though you this person's two of cups. Yeah, it's like you might have had to heal and transmute a lot of the energy that this person was sending to you, which could have took your vitality down. And this person is now getting karma for that. It's like it, whatever uh, manifestation gifts they had before is being taken away from them. Okay. Yeah, now this person is in this King of Wands energy. It's like somebody here is willing to... Take the initiative, you know, it's like, damn, you know, whatever suffering they doing, the ass whooping is enough. Like, that somebody don't want to, somebody don't want to face no more ass whoopings by the universe, is what I'm getting here, okay? So, somebody is definitely trying to fix things. They trying to get back on the right path because they almost rewrote their own fate. Like, yeah, this person didn't know that they were supposed to get married to you. So, this person may be asking to marry you, Virgo, okay? Four of Cups. Let's see. The Phoenix. Yeah. This person still got a lot of healing to do. They behind on their healing. Okay. So that's the part that's being rewritten. Y'all. Because this person still got transformation. And quite a bit of acclimation. To like a new way of thinking and or being. To adapt to. In order to be like a fit for you. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, somebody's abundance have been like, somebody's abundance is, is, whew. Yeah, see now this is why this person is surrendering now, because now it's affecting their abundance. With the will of fortune and the judgment being in reverse, somebody here might be on the bad end of luck. Yeah, and being forced to heal their heart now. This person, okay, the person that was supposed to be like, Following your example or basically you were supposed to inspire this person or be the catalyst to, for this person to get on course. It's like this person, they could have went towards the toxic connection that they currently healing from. All right. Because they realized that you're a twin flame. All right. This is twin flame all over this shit. Period. Okay. Some of y'all could have known each other since y'all was young or like I said, y'all might have a divine feminine, divine masculine spirit child in the ethers that's waiting. And this person is being rushed into union with you now because they they have, man, I mean, shit been held up because of this person. They like impeding traffic in the spiritual realm. Like you holding up the line, buddy. Yeah, Hierophant in reverse. Yeah, Cupid's arrow. This person didn't believe in certain things that you believe in. They ain't believe in twin flames, okay? And it's like everything that you was doing that that you was trying to, uh, like even conversation that you was having to try to inspire this person to see things in a different way. They was rejecting it. They could have just thought it was like boring or bullshit or I don't want to hear about that. They did not find it inspiring. That's what I mean. Like somebody here wasn't amused with the muse. They could have just thought that it was only like attraction and flirting and dating. Like they wanted to keep it light with you. They wanted to avoid like this person avoided getting too close to you because they feel like they bad at love. And now they realizing that you're their paradise or a paradise is attached to you. This person could have kept you waiting for a karmic relationship that they now healing from. Okay. And that could have been, that could be why certain things are being rewritten because maybe if this person had children with somebody else while they were away from you, okay, with this karm, in this karmic relationship, they could have friends on you for a karmic connection. 
gotten themselves heartbroken. Now they deeply sad. They need your healing. Oh boy, judgment in reverse. Some of y'all don't want this person back. And that may be what's being rewritten. Like maybe this person is willing and ready to get back on course now. And y'all just got changed emotions about this shit. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, because y'all feel like this person is narcissistic. Judgment in reverse. It's like this person is trying to be less self-absorbed. But you may feel like this person is only coming around because their heart is broken. Like, you may feel like they love bombing you. Like, y'all might not trust this person because y'all feel like they stabbed y'all in the back. With the separation, it's like they lied to you as to why they was walking away from you. And y'all could have heard it through the grapevine, got downloads, or had dreams about the real reason why this person left you hanging. Y'all mirror each other. Like, y'all reflect each other's womb. Y'all did cause each other to go into introspection. Or you went into introspection and this person went off and had another relationship. Okay, so I just want to see, like, what's going on with this. I mean, it's coming off like this person, like, they already went through a breakup. But I just want to see, like, what's going on. Because I kind of, like, y'all reading was kind of cut and dry. Tauruses was a lot deeper. So if y'all got Taurus in y'all chart, definitely go check it out. Ooh. But yeah, somebody is coming back into your life kind of heartbroken, looking for your healing, trying to manifest your healing energy. They don't feel your energy is what I'm hearing. Okay, they don't feel your energy anymore. All right, so let's see what's going on. What's the love energy surrounding this situation? For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node with this faded connection. Yeah. Oops. Alright, what's going on for Virgo? Fun times is in reverse. Yeah, this person could have thought that this was a good time and not a long time in the past. Like, y'all could have had fun, but this person might have thought that that was the extent to it. That this was supposed to be nothing more than a friendship and a good time. Now, this person been watching you on social media. This person could even be, like, commenting from a fake account. Stalking you, watching you. They feel like they chose something else other than love. Okay? They chose somebody that just took and took from them. But that could have been the energy that they was bringing to a connection with you. Like, maybe they wasn't giving to the connection the way that they could have been and should have been. Or at least that's their perception. But this person has to address their own insecurities. And they feel like because of their insecurities, they felt like they had to control this connection. And like basically minimize it to lust. Only lust. Okay. So I'm seeing that. Like, yeah. They basically tried to say it was unrequited love, even though they know that's not true. So this somebody didn't want to admit their feelings for you. They wanted to basically put it in your face that like this was just sex that they didn't see themselves being with you they might have even rejected having a child with you like if you if you guys are intuitive and y'all felt the energy that y'all was supposed to have kids this person might be like blatantly told you that they didn't want to have kids with you but went off and had kids with somebody else i guess we'll find out why you know it could be many reasons yeah proposal they went and proposed and had kids with somebody else but they realizing now you know that again they they didn't go to go be with somebody that was unconditionally loving this person could have loved them under certain conditions you know and they realize you are the unconditional love so it's kind of like they falling falling in love they giving themselves a chance to fall in love with you all right but they realized that you didn't stick around for their bullshit while they figured out their life you know yeah weather out the storm this person is afraid that they not gonna be able to like make it work with you that y'all not gonna have a marriage that y'all just dest destined and ordained to have that y'all gonna be on different pages when they approach you you know, because they still feel like, like, even though they had a change of heart, this person still feel like they got some growing up to do before they can be fully ready for what the future holds for you guys. So that's what I mean. Like, this person is basically rewriting 
you know, what's supposed to really truly happen between y'all. And it could be really frustrating for you because you might feel like everything always got to be readjusted for this person. Like, you know, y'all could have been focused while this person was just having a new life and y'all feel like this person kind of a piece of shit for that. You feel like they, they uh, cursed a generational bloodline. And it's like, you know, I did the right thing. Why do I have to be with somebody that cursed their bloodline by getting completely off course? You know, and like I said, this person could have faced troubles with the law. You worth more than what they offering you. So it's like this person may be offering you or you feel like they offered you some bullshit in the past. You want this person to keep your name out their mouth. But this person is curious about you. Like, you left an imprint on this person that they can't get over. They miss how, like, like they could have been annoyed almost by, like, how lovey-dovey you were. Okay? But now it's like they miss that aspect of you. They pissed off that they sabotaged this connection. And they could have sabotaged this connection by not only, like, dumping you or leaving you in the dust but talking shit about you. You know, they want to tell you thank you. They want to give you gratitude now because they never could before. They want to tell you don't be disappointed in me. They don't want you to be disappointed. This person is like meditating or maybe y'all meditating on the energy and y'all just feel like this person can't offer you what you deserve. This person charmed you in the past. So that could have been a reason why like things were so unequally yoked between y'all. Because this person could have like did something to make you fall all deep in love. And then in reality, they didn't have no uh, intentions for you besides being a one night stand. You know, this person could have used you for money because I'm getting feminine man in reverse. So it's like, it's a lot of things that's coming out about this person that's no longer the same. Like with this, this one night stand is coming out in reverse. So it's like this person don't see you in that light no more. They understand that you weigh more than that because even with this person trying to minimize the the worth of the connection or uh, the dynamic, they realize that you like the yin to their yang, you know, and they realize that they allowed their daddy issues to basically cause them to self-sabotage this. But it's like they want to come make love to you in a dream state because they feel like you they divine feminine now, you know. This person may be thinking about buying a house or like moving or renting a home close to you or in the same neighborhood as you. Yeah, this person could have got some type of low vibe practitioner. They could even got like a low vibe practitioner to pay your neighbors to like hate on you and like give you a hard time and run you out the neighborhood. Like this person just was doing weird shit, doing criminal activity as well. And everything that they wished, it backfired. Everything while they was being immature. They was wishing a bunch of shit. They was trying to put you in a position where you didn't have anybody else, even though they chose somebody else. You guys could have recently, or you may be in the first two weeks of January, be experiencing ascension symptoms. So it might feel like you're coming down with a cold, flu, you know, COVID or whatever else. But it's literally like your body just upgrade in your DNA, you know what I'm saying, and your body is trying to get acclimated to that, so, y'all, it seemed like y'all got y'all mind made up, like, even though this person is, like, finally wanting to have some type of change of heart, y'all just on a different wavelength now, you know, so that could be why I started off in the beginning by saying somebody, like, basically, you know, caused a whole Akashic Records or at least this portion of it to be rewritten because this person fucked up fate for themselves. Okay, so hopefully this helped. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe, and I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.